All right, good morning everyone. So, welcome to another edition of Hockey for Heroes, Hockey at Home with the Experts, sponsored by Jaffa Free. Um, so today, as always, um, if you're new to this, I'm just going to explain how the flow of the workout goes and, and kind of what the idea is. Um, so, uh, I'm a strength and conditioning coach. I'm going to try and um, give you a little bit of a half an hour of uh, strength and conditioning, really specific towards hockey. Uh, and then at the end, then you get a chance to ask me some, some questions related to hockey, fitness, nutrition, recovery. Um, so, start having a think about that now. Uh, jot down some notes and, and then stuff like that if you need to before we jump into the workout. Uh, a few bits of admin, uh, make sure you have a uh, relatively large towel um, rather than a resistance band, like you want this thing not to, to move unless you've got a super, super heavy resistance band, then uh, go grab yourself a towel, grab yourself some water uh, and then take a couple of minutes down to like and share the video, message your friends, um, pull parents out of bed, uh, get kids out of bed vice versa, uh, and let's get everyone moving for half an hour this morning, uh, just before then we jump into um, a lovely day of sunny weather, chilling in the garden, and hopefully some social distance barbecues. Um, okay, so uh, the flow of the workout then is gonna go, uh, we're gonna warm up as usual, then we're gonna come into that ESD session, uh, which is energy system development. So a little bit of condition, we're gonna get your heart rate up just for two minutes, making sure you're good to go. Uh, and then we're then going to come into a strength circuit, which is just going to be four exercises with some variations in there, depending on what kind of level you're at. Um, so if everyone's good to go, we're going to jump into our warm up. So all I want you to do is pop a knee on the floor, and you're just going to drive your whole body forwards. Reach that knee as far as your toes you can. A bit of stretch that hip flexor, and then we're going to sit back, get that hamstring. And sit forwards, okay? We're just gonna do about eight of these. Okay, so just rock forwards. If you want to get some different angles, right? You might feel tighter in slightly different places. For me, to kind of explore those areas, it might be a little bit tighter with different directions of that stretch. And we do exactly the same the other side. And you sit forwards and then sit back. Again, as I mentioned, every week a player sport is very, very much one-sided. Okay, so if you find one side is loads tighter than the other, right, that's absolutely fine. Just give it a little bit more TLC. Maybe you're there, maybe you're phone rolling or warm up four games and stuff. Yeah. Okay. And again, come onto your knees. Stretch one leg out straight, hands just in front of you. You're going to take the arm as close to the leg that's straight. You're going to dip down, open up. You know, we're just trying to open up the top part of that spine. And as I reach through, I'm going to feel a bit of a stretch come through into that adductor, into that groin area. Okay, you're just getting loads of movement here and stretching for a minimal amount of effort. Yeah, then go ahead and swap sides. Exactly the same the other side. Since there, reach through, open up. Since there, try and sit your bum back towards your heels. You feel a little bit more of a stretch. Come through those adductors. Okay, just one more. Into here. And then up into one of our favorites. Here to walk out, trying to keep my legs as straight as I can. If you do need to bend your knees because you've got tight hamstrings, that's fine. Just find that limit. So into there. I'm just gonna crawl out, core nice and tight. Just reach your bum back up towards the sky. Get another stretch, come through those hamstrings. Stand up nice and tall. Back into another one. Again, we're just gonna do four of these. Core nice and tight over the top. Reach that bum up. Stand up nice and tall. Squeeze the glutes. There. Back up, okay. Last one again, corner some tight back in. There, cool. Yeah, and last one, just a little bit of muscle activation here. So, we're just going to come into a glute bridge. We're just going to do eight of these. Make sure those glutes and the hamstrings are working nice and hard. So, all you're going to do is roll your hips up. So, imagine you've got a set of headlights 
on the waistband of your shorts or your trousers. And you're just going to try and shine those headlights up towards the bottom of my chin. And then I'm going to roll those headlights back down towards my knees. I'm going to shine those headlights as much as I can up towards my chin. And roll back down. Okay, it doesn't matter how high up I come, as long as I'm trying to create a sandwich, core, and my glutes here. A little bit of stretch comes through those hip flexors. Okay, feel all the work coming from those glutes there at the bottom. And roll back down. Nice and slow. Okay, once you're done with this, okay, you should really be able to feel there's a bit of a pump okay, coming into those glutes. What I mean by pump is just trying to pump a bit of blood into that area, activate those muscles, and roll up into there. Okay, we're just going to do one last one. Again, trying to shine those headlights all the way up towards your chin, and roll back down. Awesome. Okay, so what we're going to do now, okay, is we're going to come into that ESD bit. Okay, so as usual, it's going to be 20 seconds of hard work. 10 second rest, four rounds. Okay, nice and simple today. Okay, we're gonna jump back into those fast feet. Okay, so you're gonna stretch up, pull down, and then tap those feet as fast as you can into there. That's gonna be 20 seconds. 10 second rest, okay, and then we're just gonna come into those ice skaters, pushing from side to side into there, okay? With the ice skaters, if you're fitter, stronger, okay, go for greater distance. Okay, if you're a little bit more wobbly, okay, just focus on nice, solid landings, okay, side to side, All right? So you're gonna set up the timer, grab yourself a quick sip of water if you need to, and then we get going. Okay, here we go. Okay, so fast feet first, okay, slam down. Okay, that's it. Get exactly the same as what you would do in a hockey position, gonna keep that chest up. Okay, just make sure I've got my vision. I'm just gonna tap those feet as hard as I can. Imagine I'm on the trampoline, I'm just bouncing those feet up and down. Okay, 10 second breather. Check that out. Okay, we're gonna come into those ice skaters. Okay, really feeling those glutes that we've just activated into there. Punch. Good. When I land, it's that other side. I'm really trying to use that leg to push, push, push. Okay. We can really start to up the pace of this. It's there, good. Okay, take a breather. Now you know what the exercises are, and then you know what they feel like. Okay, so let's hit that hammer, all right? We really hit that accelerator. So here we go. See into there, pump those legs as far as you can. Chest nice and tall. Good. Work nice and hard for the last 10 seconds. Almost there, five, three, two, one, stand up. Big deep breath. Okay, last little bit now, okay, into those ice skaters. Three, two, one, okay, let's go. Again, stay nice and strong through that core. Notice I'm not crumpling. There, pow, is there. Nice and strong. Okay, as if I'm in a brick wall. Every single time I'm stepping. Almost there guys, three seconds. Good, great stuff. Suck that air in. So, that's where you get that breath back. Give a big shout out to Wood Church. Great to see you guys on again. Uh, keep the shout outs going. If you don't know, got Ben in my ear. Here, feed me information to go through. Grab a little sip of water. Okay, before we come into the, the strength part. Okay, I'll just explain what the towel's for. So the first exercise is gonna be an isometric deadlift, okay? So grab the towel diagonal, spin it round. Okay, you're gonna stand on the towel, grab hold of it, and then I'm gonna try and grow as tall as I can. So I'm gonna try and push myself hard into the floor, chest as big as I can. Okay, and I'm trying to really push and pull. So I'm trying to push my feet into the floor, I'm trying to grow and get that chest okay, as big as I can. All right, that's gonna be 20 seconds. 
10 second breather, 20 seconds, 10 second breather, and everything else is going to be for a minute. All right, so that's exercise one. Exercise two is push ups with a rotation. Okay, so you're just going to come into a regular push up, rotate round, rotate round. If that's too difficult, you're just going to do regular push ups. Again, if that's too difficult, okay, just going to pop those knees down. Okay, into deadlifts there. Uh, Push ups, put deadlifts on the mind, yeah? Okay, and then third exercise then is going to be dead bugs. So on the ground, okay, as if you're a dead bug, opposite arm, opposite leg, you're going to reach out as far as you can, snap back in, reach out as far as you can, snap back in, be for a minute. The last exercise then is just going to be the lateral shuffles, okay, so into there, nice and low, into there, working those feet as hard as you can. If you've got more space to go further, Go for it if you've got a smaller space, the same as me, okay? Just try and keep it short and, short and sharp. Uh, I'm gonna set the timer up. As usual, we're gonna do three rounds of that. Uh, pick a level that you can work as hard as you can. So again, grab some water. And we will crack on. So another shout out then to Old Cranley and Hockey Club. Um, always great to see who's on here, well, although I can't see who's on here, um, so keep the shout outs going, let me know who's there, who's watching. Okay, another big shout out then to Kaylin, who's back on again this week, good to see you. Okay, so here we go, okay, so straight into that towel deadlift, so whack it underneath your feet, it's there, and you're trying to stretch up as hard as you can. Again, keep that chest nice and tall, trying to drive those feet hard into the floor and then trying to pull up as hard as I can in this part of the towel here. Okay, we're just gonna work as hard as you possibly can for 20 seconds. Okay, you're trying to squeeze your glutes. Okay, a little 10 second breather. Okay, sit out of that. That there, come back in. Okay, and then we're gonna do the same again. Okay, 20 seconds, here you go. Nice and tight, try and squeeze your feet into the floor. Try and keep your chest as big as you can. We're really trying to squeeze my glutes, trying to put my shoulder blades into my back pocket okay, and stay nice and tall. A little bit of a hybrid between the squat and the <coughs> position. Last 10 seconds. Good. Okay, relax out of that. Okay, you can get rid of the towel now. Okay, we're into the press ups with the rotation. Okay, so can see our feet a little bit wide if we need it. Okay, you're just gonna open up. Is there. Open up. Coming into a nice solid side plank position. So there, keep that core nice and tight. So again, if that's too difficult, right, you're just gonna come into those regular push-ups. Okay, if that starts then to get a bit of a struggle, then you're just gonna pop your knees on the floor. Okay, reach forward and back into there. Okay. Let's see as many people as possible. Okay, doing those push-ups into that side plank. So there. Okay, you only have to do this two more times. All right. So let's work as hard as we can. Keep that core nice and tight. Okay, we're almost there. Five seconds. That's it. Okay, now we're going to come into those dead bugs. So again, here I'm trying to keep my Lower back, flat against the floor, opposite arm, opposite leg. Okay, try not to get frustrated if coordination is an issue. All right, you'll pick it up. Okay, it's like trying to pat your head and rub your, rub your tummy the first time you try and do it. Okay, but you'll get it eventually. It's there. The further out I try and reach, the harder here has to work. Okay, so the more kind of tension I'm trying to put through that core and make sure my lower back doesn't come away from the mat. There. Okay guys, we're almost there. It lasts 15 seconds. Okay, work in that core as hard as you possibly can. Okay, if you're finding it difficult, okay, reduce the amount you're reaching out. Okay, then straight up, straight into those side shuttles. It's there, side to side. 
Okay, again, try and keep yourself nice and low into there. Again, if you do have a hockey stick, same as last time, okay, add that in into there. Okay, if it helps you to work a little bit harder, okay, then do so. Okay, if it helps you pitch you in a scenario, game like scenario, okay, you're trying to tackle the best player on the opposite team, okay, you're just tracking them back, tracking them back, okay. You're not going to make a mistake, okay, they're going to make this mistake, okay, so you're just going to keep yourself nice and low, move those feet, try not to knock your feet together, little small steps, okay, like the fast feet we did at the beginning, into there, right, maybe you want to put in some jabs, and some jabs into there, all right, okay, five seconds, last little bit, okay, and right back to the start again, all right, so grab that towel, Give you 10 seconds to get set up into there. Okay, and then drive those feet into the floor. Try and pull the towel up as high as you possibly can. You're squeezing everything. Okay, guys, you can feel everything through here. Doing a ton of work. Right, imagine you've got hockey balls underneath your armpits. You're going to try and squeeze those hockey balls. Okay, and you're trying to be nice and proud. All right, take a little 10 second breather. Stand up, give it a bit of shape off. Okay, we're gonna finish off with another 20 seconds. All right, here we go. Squeeze in, nice and tight. Okay, you squeeze those hockey balls on underneath your armpits. Kind of drive that towel into the floor. And try and pull it up as hard as you can. Five seconds. Two, one. Good, we're out of that then, straight into those push-ups. Again, keeping that core nice and tight. Try and look. Over the top of your hands, reach round. Look over the top of your hands, reach round. Okay, we're trying to keep that nice arrow position rather than the T shape. So, what I mean by an arrow is here rather than T here. Okay, so arrow position there. Again, if the rotation is too difficult, right, just come into the regular push ups. If that's too difficult, right, I'm just going to come into kneeling push-ups into there, okay? But this is your second to last round, okay? So let's see as many people as you can into there, into those rotations. Keeping that core nice and tight. Spinning those hips all the way around into there. Spinning those hips all the way around. Okay, and then we're going to come into those dead bugs. Again, if you struggled with these last time, or well, if you started to feel it in your lower back, right, just reduce the range into there. So you think about your arms and legs being weights of a machine. The further out that weight gets, right, the harder it goes into there. So we're looking at kind of a range of like easy, medium, into there, and then hardest. Okay, you're gonna stretch out as far as you can, a little pause. And snap it back in. So stretch out, snap it back in. All right. So you should be creating an arch or anything like that in your lower back. Okay. You should be keeping a real consistent pressure through that lower back into there. So you really feel your core light up doing this. Looks very simple. Yeah, but simple is usually the best. Yeah, and from there, then straight up, straight into those lateral side shuffles and say again as I said before if it helps just grab a hockey stick and say jab tackle jab tackle if you're a goalkeeper okay stand up nice and tall okay do some arcs do some arcs round into there into there okay maybe you're pretending to clear the ball but the goal here is to try and keep that low athletic position so you can change directions the reason why we don't touch our feet together is because we just fall over, right? So, we're just going to try and keep that space the same. Keeps my center of mass nice and low. Allows me to be able to change direction if I need to. Okay, so keep those feet moving nice and fast. Little jab tackles if you need to. Get little drags across. Okay, anything that keeps you working for the last three. Okay, here we go. Okay, last round, back into those ISOs. Okay, so 10 seconds to get set up. You're gonna stand on the towel. 
into there. Yeah, nice and tall. Really trying to drive those feet hard into the floor. Trying to squeeze those hockey balls underneath my armpits. And trying to make my chest as proud as I possibly can. I'm going to be looking ahead. I'm going to feel in the tension. Come through glutes and hamstrings. Okay, relax. Take 10 seconds. Give those legs a bit of a shake off. Okay, going again in three, two, one, 20 seconds. Let's go. Create as much tension as you possibly can. Keep that core nice and tight. For my last time you'll do this exercise. All right, so work nice and hard for the last five seconds. And keeping that chest nice and proud. Good. Okay, into those push-ups then. Last little, last round of little push-ups. So again, let's get into those rotations if you can. If not, yeah, you're just gonna do regular push-ups. Even that corner some tight. Coming up and down. Okay, there's one whole unit. Alright, the same on regular push-ups. Here's gonna stay connected. Press up floor away. Press up floor away. Okay, or you're gonna keep those knees down. Use that. Push away. Push away. Okay. Last 20 seconds. Alright, so if you can, give the rotation to go. Alright, is there? Come on, last little bit. Keep working as hard as you can. Five seconds. Good. Okay, then set up for those dead bugs. Again, create some tension through that core. Opposite arm, opposite leg. Reach out. It's there. Let's focus on your breath this round. So you breathe out nice and hard if you pull that leg in and that arm in. So it's there, you'll notice it. Here it does. A little bit more work, so I'm gonna breathe in. Breathe in, big breath out. Again, if that's too difficult, just limit the range. Okay, again, your arms and legs are the weight of this exercise. Okay, so if the weight's too much, you limit it by only reaching out okay, as far as you can. Pull that core work. Give it a last little bit. You guys are going to jump up. Grab that hockey stick if you need to. Okay, so we're just going to sidestep. Yeah, sidestep. So there's jab tackles. Or if you're goalkeeper, okay, you can stand nice and tall. Okay, you're going to protect your D. Into there, okay, you might want to clear, clear some balls into there. Okay, all I care about is you're in this nice low athletic position. Okay, sidestepping. Into there, trying to keep the space between your feet exactly the same. Little small steps of those feet from the balls of your feet. Okay. okay we're almost there. Okay, 20 seconds. If you need to, yeah, you pretend that you know, doing a hockey drill. Okay, finally, we've been let back on the pitch. Okay, so you might be sidestepping into, into block tackles. All right, again, goalkeeper, say a little bit taller. Come round into there. Awesome. Good work. Really, really good work. Okay, we're gonna come into a cool down now. If you're doing this outside, right, it's hot. Take a second just to find a position that's comfortable. That means you're laying flat on the ground, you're just sitting up, standing, do whatever you need to. Try and get your breath back. Grab a couple of sips of water. Yeah. So, big shout out again to Ipswich Hockey Club. Apparently, they're loving the workout. The hard work today out in the sun. Any other? Awesome. Always good to see Sarah Wood on here and Joshy working hard this morning. Um, I doing it pretty much every every morning. It's good to see you guys on. Um, so hopefully now you've had a chance to to get to get your breath back. Okay, so all we're going to do today is 
rather than some static stretches. All right, we're just going to kind of loosen those, take those joints off in, in a slightly different way. Um, so all I want you to do is grab a seat, have your hands behind you, and then I want you to just to try and make a, a 90 degrees for that front leg, and a 90 degrees in with that back leg. Okay, if it's tight, right, you just sit further over this way and it reduces the stretch. If you're more mobile, okay, you're gonna stand up this way. A little bit more, I think, for the stretch. And all you're gonna do from there then is you're just gonna gently rotate through, okay, side to side, all right? So, into here, okay, so we're gonna drop into a 90, into a 90, into there, okay. Again, this is just gonna help loosen up those hips. But again, taking those hips through that full range of motion so you don't lose it, right? We work out and we train, everything gets a little bit tight, a little bit shorter, and then gradually you start to lose that range of motion around the joint. For us as hockey players, these big joints are through the hips, again, through the the upper part of the spine, all right? And then those of you who've experienced lower back pain, right? Your lower back is right in between both of those. Okay, so then that ends up taking up the slack due to the reduced range or flexibility or mobility or whatever you want to call it, um, through the hip, through that, that the spine, all right? So what we're gonna do then is just gonna loosen off through here, so what you're going to do is you're just going to again try and take here through its full range, right? So sit in a way where you can kind of lock here down, okay? And you're just going to reach around, reach around into there, okay? If you want to exaggerate it, okay, you're going to add again that extra weight into there and reach as far around as you can, reach as far around as you can, right? So this time it's a little bit hotter, all right? So we're just gonna, rather than going straight into some static stretches, okay, we're gonna gradually ramp ourselves down by doing a cool down that's got a little bit more movement. Last one then, okay, hand over hand into there, and then you're just gonna reach this side to side. As I reach over, I'm trying to pull this hand up. Okay, I'm gonna feel it come through those lats. This is the side there. This is the side there, all right. Yeah, nice and gentle. Okay, this is the workout. All right, this is just restoring a little bit more range. Okay, after that workout. Okay, letting that body calm down a little bit more. Awesome. Okay, come out of that. Um, guys, great work today. Um, that's it for the workout portion. So if you guys need to need to shoot off and go and enjoy the sunshine. Uh, I completely understand. Thank you very much for, for joining. Please like and share the video. The video is gonna be put up on, on YouTube. So if you've got people who need to work out, want to work out, okay, send them that way, okay, and they can do this workout at a later date. Um, if not, okay, and you wanna stick around and listen to me drop some knowledge bombs, uh, stick around and I believe uh, Ben has got some, got some questions uh, that you guys have been, been commenting uh, during and, and before the workout and I'll do my best to kind of answer those. Any questions for me Ben? Right. Hmm. Okay, so the, so the question is, probably quite relevant for, for today um, is uh, this person uh, always eats badly at a barbecue uh, and uh, any tips of, of kind of, of, of how, how to improve that. Um, so what I would say is, 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 is a tendency with a lot, lot of people is if they can't do perfect then they don't bother. But what I would say is what, what could you do that will make it less worse? Right, so if that means, rather than going there with a the mindset that all you're gonna do is eat the salads, okay, because then as soon as you eat that piece of meat or that thing that you qualify as bad, right, then you then hit that, that big red button of like, I, why bother anyway? So what can you do to, to make that 
less worse. And what I would say is fill up on, on, on a little bit more of the veg and the salads and, and, and all that sort of stuff, but also um, do it mindfully. Um, it's quite easy to get distracted and stuff like that. At a barbecue, you're talking with people, you're up, you're down, you're, you're, you're grabbing stuff, and you're not really paying attention a lot to, 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 to the amount that you're eating. And it becomes very easy then to, to overeat. So a simple strategy without you going in there with thinking that I'm following this diet and I can only have three or four sausages or, or three or four burgers. Go in there and just pay a little bit more attention. So in, in, enjoy the food, slow down with the amount that you're, you're eating. Um, and your body wouldn't tell you that when you're full, right? So, so a simple solution to, to that is, is fill up your plate half with veggies and then the other half then with whatever you like. Take that to wherever you're gonna eat it, and then see if you can then spend at least 15 minutes making your way through that, through that plate. A simple strategy that, that I use with, with clients is putting your utensils down uh, between each mouthful. Now it's more difficult at barbecue, so that might just be then you take a mouthful and you take a couple of breaths, or you enjoy the conversation. So have a mouthful, enjoy the conversation, especially now when you know we've been isolated and stuff like that around uh, without people. Take a couple of mouthfuls, scan and have a decent conversation. Take another more, a uh, few mouthfuls. Um, it sounds it sounds simple, but but employing that kind of again allows you to enjoy the experience of the barbecue, but it also will make you a little bit more in tune with kind of like those those coolness cues um, and stop you from, from, from potentially overeating. Um, I hope that helps. Okay, that okay, so uh, another great great question to, to the question uh, is now we're having a prolonged uh, period of um, of hot weather. Uh, sh should we, or sh should I be having um, changing my my hydration strategy? Um, and I would say yes. Like you're going to be sweating a lot more, especially if you're training hard. Um, and you might want to sort of kind of look at increasing the the, the amount of uh, of salt that you, that you are having. Um, and I'm not talking about like packaged foods and stuff like that that are high in salt anyway. Um, adding a little bit more high quality salt uh, to, to your food and potentially uh, to your water or the drinks and stuff like that you're having. Um, and that's kind of, you know, like uh, proper, proper sea salt, um, uh, pink he he Himalayan uh, salt, um, anything that, that kind of looks like it's, it's come from the ground, right? Like it, it, it comes in kind of like proper cubes, and you're gonna have to grind it down um, rather than stuff that, that, that's in a uh, that, that's just come in a package. And um, that's likely to be a higher quality. Uh, personally, what I do in terms of um, hydration is 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 I front load my my day. Um, so I'll, I'll wake up in the morning. I'll put a, a pinch of salt in a in a pint of water. Uh, and I'll have that pint of water then while I'm, I'm doing my, my morning routine. So whether that's cooking my breakfast or, or I'm outside doing like a little bit of mobility work. And then I then make sure then that I'm, I'm hydrating enough throughout the day. And then I kind of taper that off then during, during the evening. So about four, five o'clock, I try and reduce my water intake. Otherwise, during the middle of the night, I'm up two or three times um, to go to the bathroom and end up with disrupted sleep. So, Salt's a, a great thing to, to, to add to, to water. Um, also, you can hydrate with uh, orange juice. Orange juice uh, makes your body retain the water a little bit more, so you might want to have half of, of OJ and then dilute it with, with water, so you're not getting as much of the sugar in that in. Uh, and then uh, also skimmed milk. Um, is, uh, your body retains the most amount of water from, from skimmed milk. Um, so if you're working out in the morning or in the afternoon, that's a great post-workout drink to, for you to hydrate. Um, it's got a little bit of, uh, of sugars in that you're gonna need after training anyway, a little bit of salt in it, and then it's got some protein in that in there to, to, to help you kind of repair after that workout. 
So again, I'm very aware that it's kind of long-winded answers. So water it in the morning, add a pinch of salt to it. Focus on water throughout the morning into into the afternoon. If you're working out, um, dilute some orange juice with with water, um, and and that will help your body retain a little bit more water. Or if, if you can and you're not vegan or anything like like that, then add um, then then try some skimmed milk. Um, if you are vegan, then coconut water is also a very good source of, of hydration. So that's a long-winded answer, but um, I hope that helps. Any more questions, Ben? Yeah. Cool, awesome. Um, so uh, that is it for the for the questions this week. Again, guys, thank you very much for for joining. Um, I hope you guys in, in enjoyed the, the workout. Um, it looks like uh, we're going in the right direction with uh, with the lockdown and stuff like that, with uh, pitches and stuff like that starting to open up to the small groups. So that's a positive yeah. step for us for for hockey. Uh, I'm very aware that we're all going to be hopefully creeping into in, into pre-season. Um, so if if you guys are kind of as as teams, clubs, individuals, or, or anything like that, I'd love to know from you guys what your pre-season strategy is. If you have any um, in terms of strength and conditioning, um, if you don't, uh, feel free to reach out to me personally. So. Uh, you can find me on Facebook, it's Matt Alexander, the strength coach, um, or you can find me on Instagram, that's uh, Matt underscore uh, Alexander PT, and, uh, or you can go direct to, to Hockey for Heroes and they'll direct your questions and stuff like that and interest uh, to me. Um, but apart from that, like, share the video, send people over to the YouTube, and um, I will see you guys uh, next Saturday. Enjoy the, enjoy the great weather.